Today's topic is preterm birth. Preterm birth is a birth that takes place more than three weeks before a baby is estimated to be born. A normal pregnancy lasts for 40 weeks. A birth is considered premature when it occurs before the 37th week of pregnancy. Babies born prematurely are known as preemies. In the normal human fetus, those final weeks between 34th and 37th weeks in the womb are crucial for healthy weight gain and the full development of several organ systems, including the brain and the lungs. The fetus reaches adequate maturity at the end of this period. The lungs are one of the last organs to mature in the womb. This is why many premature babies spend the first days and week of their lives on ventilators. Preterm babies may also have long-term health issues, such as learning disabilities or physical disabilities. Preterm birth is also known as premature birth, is the most common cause of death among infants worldwide. About 15 million babies are born as premature globally each year. At 22 weeks, the chance of survival is about 6%, while at 23 weeks it is 26%, 24 weeks is 55%, and 25 weeks about 72%. The complications associated with preterm birth varies, but the earlier the baby comes, the higher the risk of complications. Causes The specific cause of premature birth isn't clear. However, certain factors are known to increase a woman's risk of going into labor early. These may include a previous premature birth, some chronic conditions such as diabetes, kidney disease, heart disease, high blood pressure, poor nutrition before and during pregnancy, smoking cigarettes or using illegal drugs, certain infections such as of the lower genital tract, being very overweight or underweight before pregnancy, conceiving through in vitro fertilization, multiple miscarriage or abortions, physical injury or trauma, problems with the uterus, cervix, or placenta, an interval of fewer than six months between pregnancies, being pregnant with more than one baby, psychological stress, such as the death of a loved one or domestic abuse, symptoms, four or more uterine contractions in one hour, vaginal bleeding in the third trimester, heavy pressure in the pelvis, abdominal or back pain, a watery discharge from the vagina, which may indicate a premature rupture of the membranes that surround the baby. A premature baby may show these signs soon after birth. Low weight, low body fat, trouble breathing, abnormally pale or yellow skin, difficulties while feeding, lack of reflexes for sucking and swallowing, leading to feeding difficulties, inability to maintain constant body temperature, movement and coordination problems. Diagnosis and treatment. Doctors often try to prevent premature birth by giving the mother certain medications that can delay delivery. If the premature labor can't be stopped and there is a need for the baby to be delivered prematurely, doctors can prepare for a high-risk birth. The baby is then moved to the neonatal intensive care unit where he or she undergoes a number of tests, such as blood tests, breathing and heart rate monitoring, fluid input and output, eye exam, ultrasound scan, echocardiogram. Treatment. Treatment option may include supportive treatments, such as placing the baby in an incubator, monitoring the baby's vital organs, having a feeding tube, receiving a blood transfusion, replenishing fluids, spending time under bilirubin lights to treat infant jaundice, medications such as surfactant to treat respiratory disease syndrome, antibiotics, medicine to help close the heart defect known as patent ductus arteriosus, an injection of medication into the eye to stop the growth of new blood vessels, fine mist or IV medication to strengthen breathing, surgery to treat a number of conditions associated with prematurity, the mother should talk to the health administrator to understand the type of surgery that may be necessary. Thank you for watching our video. Please do not forget to like and share the video.
Also, please subscribe to the channel to stay updated on our latest videos.